right. Well, I've just learned that uh, a judge decided to overturn the Colorado ruling about keeping arch nemesis Trump off of the uh, ballot. However, I think all states and the United States of America should keep arch nemesis Trump off of the ballot because he's the arch nemesis of the United States of America. Liars can't... Let's see. This is a quote from my grandfather. Figures don't lie, but liars can figure. And arch nemesis Trump can figure with the best of the liars. So, yes, that's what that means to me. Is that arch nemesis Trump is a liar and he can figure. Now, with that said, why are you trying to get him back on the ballot? Are you in his pocket? Stop it. He's not your friend, he's not your ally, he's your enemy. He's your arch nemesis. The arch nemesis Trump? Yeah, when I call him arch nemesis Trump, I'm just calling him my arch nemesis. I'm calling him the arch nemesis of the United States of America. And probably the world. Uh, and FYI, maybe the SEC should look into maybe some insider trading on his part. You know, just a little, maybe you can find something on him, SEC, uh, the Security Exchange Commission. Yeah, maybe they can find something on his butt and nail him to the wall. I don't know if it's insider trading, but maybe they can find something. I mean, I'm not just talking about when he was in office. I'm talking about, like, before he was in office, like when he was a uh, private citizen of the United States. You know, you could probably find a little something on his butt there. So, yeah. With that said, I think all states should keep him off of their ballots because, no, he is not your friend. He is, your he is not your ally. He is your enemy. He is your arch nemesis. Every time I call him arch nemesis Trump or A-N-T, I'm not calling him my arch nemesis. I'm calling him our arch nemesis. So, yeah. Ciao for now.